Hey peeps, what's up? Yes, it's me. <laughs> I know this face is no longer a familiar face. Um, pardon the look. I am exhausted, guys. I just went to the grocery store. And you, some of you know the uh, trials of being single and going to the grocery store. You put everything in the car. You get to the checkout. You put everything on the conveyor belt. You wheel it out to your car. You put it in your car. You get home. You take it out of your car. And then you come inside and you put it away. So, yes, that is what I just completed. And I am tired. But... I had to go ahead and pop it in because I told you guys kind of left you hanging. I do have a life out update for those of you who know me. For newbies, this may not mean anything to you. But um, for those of you who've been around, along since day one, um, you, you probably probably have noticed, I'm getting all worked up here, have probably noticed that I, I don't talk a lot about my work life and... Um, I do that on purpose because I try to keep my work life and um, my video life separately because I don't want any uh, repercussions coming down for anything that I may say or that may be misconstrued that I say. So I try to keep that um, separate and plus, you know, this is when I'm home, I'm home and I don't really want to be in work mode. So, but um Suffice it to say, uh, long story short, um, I was really going through some stuff on my job, and um, I had been in one field of employment all of my adult life, and when my youngest daughter went to school, I was laid off from that uh, field, and I thought I would use that opportunity to try to do something differently, and... Um, I did. I tried a couple of different uh, occupations, and uh, they just weren't for me. And then, but most of them, it was kind of like, okay, you know, I tried this, and and I was able to go and say, hey, you know, this is not for me. I'm giving my notice, and you know, I'm going to go try something different. Um, my last one, I mean, I was able to do that, but it was so stressful, guys. It was just like a nightmare, and so you know. I did. I kept my end of the, the work agreement. I, I have a very strong work ethic. Um, I did, uh, about a year ago, I ran into a friend of mine that I used to work with, and she told me, she said, I'm working at this place. We're hiring. I'll put in a good word for you. And she did. Um, they had a position that came open, and I was interviewed for it. Uh, I was not selected. They had an internal candidate that they uh, uh, you, um, uh, gave the position to, and I was totally fine for that. With that, because if a company does not promote from within, then to me, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're causing uh, morale problems. So I was, you know, perfectly fine with it and everything. And so about um, January. Um, <laughs> Came back no November. I she called me again. She says we're we're hiring again. Uh, you know we've interviewed you. We already like you and everything. So um, you know we just need you to apply. And so um, I said okay. Let me know when it actually gets posted. Well, there was some delay. You know end of the year stuff. You know how uh, companies are end of the year dollars budgets and all of that. So it did not get posted until um, January. And guys, I did re-interview. I had an interview with the top person uh, before I had only interviewed with the uh, supervisor and the manager on board. I had to go up to the director. And I did get that position. And it's in my field that I did before, so I was quite, quite comfortable with the interview and knowing my my job skills and such. So, uh -oh, my daughter, so hold on one moment. Okay, sorry about that interruption. That was my daughter coming home from the store. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, so yes, I did get that job. I am back doing something that I know and something that I like. 
Um, the role that I'm doing now with the company I'm dealing with, it is not as stressful as the role was uh, when I was doing it before. There have been some changes and things on how things are done, a lot more automation. So right now I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So thank you all for your prayers um, and uh, for hanging with me. So uh, having said that, I just came back. Yeah, I was looking. I have an office now. So I was trying to find some uh, decor for my office and I didn't have any luck, but um, I am still um, kind of training right now, so I'm not into my own office yet. So I have another week before I actually physically move into my office. And at that point, I'll be a little bit more serious about trying to find my decor. But right now, I'm just kind of taking things easy. But um, so, yeah, I think a lot of that uh, thrifting I was doing was just... Um, retail therapy because I was just stressing so much but anyway um, I don't know what my excuse is now though because I went today I think that was celebratory because I hadn't been in a while and um, yeah so I think today was celebratory so uh, let me see I went to Goodwill and I actually went to make a donation and it was one I hadn't been to for a minute so I decided to go in and check them out actually I haven't been in any of them for a minute um, I don't know if I shared this with you already, but, excuse me, um, I got a, um, stereo, and so, um, I do have, I got the Family Reunion album by the OJs. I think I shared this with you, but I do not know for sure. I also got Parliament, uh, P-Funk, Mothership Connection. This is one of my favorite first albums I bought. Um, today... <laughs> like you're all, you're gonna be like you're all over the place. Uh, eye candy. Today I found ta da Barry Manilow, and this is the I write the song CD. I, guys, I used to sing that song. I just all through the house. I write the songs that make the whole world sing. Yes, I write the songs of love and special things. <laughs> okay, that's all you get. <clears throat> Um, that was a quarter. That album was a quarter. Uh, another thing I've been needing is, uh, I kind of have tools here and there. Like I have a quote unquote tool jar, but they're not tool drawer, but, um, the tool that I need is never in the tool drawer. So I found this and I rec only recognized it, what it was because I was, um, at, um, one of the Lowe's or Home Depot or one of the stores with my brother one time shopping and saw some and uh, thought, oh, that was cute and I didn't buy one then. But I got me one and it's showing up blue, but it is like a periwinkle purple and um, it is a tool bag. And it has this little thing here that holds, um, I think it's for like screwdrivers or something screwdrivers or bits or something with for my uh, MUAs that probably make a good brush holder. <laughs> this would make a good makeup bag too. Um, but yeah, and it goes on the front here some kind of way. I took it off, but it goes on the front somehow that you don't even have to dig in there for it. Uh, inside it's got a big pocket there, uh, a big one, and then a couple small ones on the sides. And then this goes inside. So, um, and it zips closed. So, yeah, I thought it's about time for me to get my little tools organized. So, um, excuse me for a moment. I, I told y'all I had a hard morning. We have an amber alert out for a little girl, guys. I'm sorry. Actually, I don't think it's a little girl anymore. I think this one is for a baby. Yeah, it's going to be out until 10.23 p.m. Um, I think it's uh, a parental father took the baby. So we're looking for a red, maroon, or brown Nissan or Hyundai. So I tell you. 
Anyway, so let me go ahead and finish up this because I've already taken up a lot of time with my personal stuff. Okay, today I found, okay, this bag was $3. And today I found something that I got strictly for nostalgia, but I will use it because it's in really great shape. Who knows what this is? I'm not even going to say. I want you to just comment in the comments if you know what this is. It cost me $1. Growing up, all of our parents and grandparents had those. And now I have one. You guys know I'm a fool for purses. So I did find one purse, even though I was trying hard not to. And it looks like this. It is a um, sack, the sack. And um, yeah, that's the back. It's double handled. This is the front. It's got one little pocket here. Uh, I really love the stitching. It's a bucket style. It doesn't have a zipper, but it uh, snaps in the middle there. And look at that interior. That interior is nice and clean um, it's got a middle zipper compartment that's what this was a middle zipper and then the two side compartments so there's one zipper on that side and there's your sack envelope and there's the other side that has the pockets and yeah and it was not marked up it was three what are their purses 350 so it was not marked up. It is in real good shape. I do not see any dings or anything. There's one little discoloration there that I think will go away with the little wiping. But, um, yeah, $3.50. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. Now, this skirt is iffy. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep it or not, but that's the good thing about the Goodwill here that I, where I live, you can return stuff if it's not on the sale. Um, and today's sale was the media. That's why the record was a quarter instead of 50 cents. So I found this skirt. And it's black and gray and white. Those are the colors. It is by... Um, Leith, kind of like Keith, but with an L. And the reason I picked this up is, excuse me, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but I did a, a thrift haul not too long ago, and I had this shoe, which it does have a little, this has beige in it, but that pattern, I just thought, oh, this would probably, because it's a shoe and it's, not attached to the skirt I might be able to pull that off we'll see we'll see if not I still like it because it is a very cute skirt but we will see if it looks cute once I put it on because it looks like it runs a little small okay and you guys know I'm all, I'm all over the place, so I just reach in and whatever I grab, clothing, housewear, jewelry, whatever. So <clears throat> I found two of these little dishes, and they are, um, what do you call that, like flower pot stuff? I can't think of what it's called, but um, it needs to be washed. But I found two of them. They were 50 cents each, and uh, these are good, like, for baking, like, your individual pastas or, uh, you know, whatever, um, those just little individual um, pot pies or something. So that's what I got it. I thought about being in restaurants and getting those individual servings of, uh, like, baked spaghetti or something. So 50 cents, I said, I'll take them. And they match my the color of my new uh, dish set that I got at Christmas. Now this I got, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, if I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try it on, see if it fits me, which I doubt, uh, then I'll see if my daughter wants it, which 
I don't know, but if she doesn't and I can't fit it, then it's going to go up for sale. So um, it is a cabbie jacket. It's a size small. And I love it because it's got this, uh, this crochet embroidery like. Well, not embroidery, but it's like, uh, what do you call those things? You got, well, you guys can see. And then this is kind of a, a rough, uh, like a raw silk feeling, but it's thick. And then underneath, it's got like, I'm not sure what you call that kind of, it's stretchy though. But yeah, so it's got like those three different textures. And then the back has the uh, raw silk look. Also, I'm sorry for my phone, guys. But I thought this was really cute, and um, it was a jacket. I think it was only three dollars, three fifty or something like that. It wasn't oh very much. Okay, and I'm gonna have to look at that, or it's gonna whistle again. Um, also found another denim dress, and again, like, I, because I'm able to take stuff back, I don't do a lot of try on at that store, at the stores, unless they're far out where I don't feel like going back, but this one's not far from me, so I did not try this on. Um, it's a denim dress. It is by Starwear Jeans. It's a large, and it looks like this. It looks like it had a belt at one time. I see belt loops on it. But the belt looks not with it. And it's a maxi style. And it does have a front pleat. Or, or front uh, split. Slash pleat. It looks like a pleat, but it's a slit. Um, it's got the two pockets right there in the front as well. They're kind of small. You can put your four fingers in them. So they're not made to put your whole hand in. And then um, also at the top, you got two more pockets that are small. Uh, the back, there is a zipper. And so yeah, I thought I'm gonna give that a try for the summer. Uh, dresses are $5. Um, at my new job, I can wear, um, what do you call them, culottes or pedal pushers as long as, they don't have to be ankle length as long as they're below the knee. So I can't wear anything shorts, pants above the knees. They have to go over the knees. So I found this pair and these are by Lee. They're the comfort waistband and I thought these would look nice for spring, summer. And um, they've got the five pocket. They're not denim. Um, they're like a cotton fabric, but they're not denim. The back has a pocket, and the back has the adjustment where you can adjust your waist. They're cargo style. There's that pocket. And um, no cuffs or anything on the hems. So I thought those would look cute this summer or this spring since we can't wear shorts, which I understand and I'm fine with. But that'll give me a little um, summary feel. Almost done, folks. Almost done. Okay. So, Marada dies know that I think I'm sorry about this noise. Let me do it. Marita dies know that I've kind of been um, getting on this white um, white dishes uh, kick, and I haven't gone for the dishes for the serving dishes, but I do have like a um, set. I've been get, I've got like a canister set. I found a coffee pot or teapot, whichever you want to call it, a couple of um, coffee cups, and a trivet that are all kind of in that same family of that white with the fruit on it or a basket look. And so today I found 
the sugar bowl. And see how it has the texture of the fruit. Sorry about the glare. Is that any better? But it's got like a, a fruity pattern on there. And then there's the top. It has the fruity pattern as well. And um, it was 50 cents. Which I was really shocked at uh, Cookville having stuff with 50 cents like that. Those little dishes, 50 cents. Oh, I was really surprised. So. Oh, I thought that was it, but I've got one last thing. So. What am I known for, folks? Purses and shoes. <laughs> now this is almost showing true to color. It's a chartreuse. Chartreuse. It's a little more deep color in um, in uh, actuality than what is showing up on the video. It's a little little washed out looking on the video. So it's just got a little bit more darker, a little more green tinge to it, and um, it's it's had a little wear. But the, the heel was in good, pretty good condition. There's a mark on there. I'll need to try to see if I can get off. But I have a couple of chartreuse. I know I have a chartreuse top that will go with this. And I may have some bottoms or something. But I, I kind of have a couple of things that this may, you know, be that pop of color, you know, to make it pop. So I know they're different, so that's why I had to have them. They're not black, they're not brown, they're color I didn't have, so that justifies. And these were um, $3 or $3.50. I can't remember what their shoes are. I think they're $3. Boots are 6 I think shoes are $3, so 3 or three fifty. So there you have it. That was my haul. And um, I haven't been on for a while, so I may be back with another one wearing the same, the same outfit. Uh, I may squeeze in another one from a previous uh, haul. So thank you guys for um, coming back and checking me out. Uh, I appreciate that you all are still hanging with me for my newbies. I am the thrifting queen. <laughs> I have a thrifting problem, and I gladly and wholeheartedly admit to it. And um, if you like thrift hauls, yeah, stop by and see me. I will keep you occupied. Um, so with that, I'm going to say adieu. I want you to be sure to like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And if nothing else, share me. Share me with your friends, okay? All right. Smooches.